Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you how to use API Bot. So first of all, go to my website and download the newest version. Then uh, open it and you'll have two uh, languages to select from. One is English, one is Spanish. And then you'll have two EXE files. One is for 32-bit users. At, yeah, 32, this one is 32, and this one is 64. So the newest feature that has been added is the login with username and password instead of session ID and um, server. So just enter your username, password, MRS is most recent server, enter your most recently logged in server, entering a different server will result in a session expired message. My most recent server was Germany one. Save and log in. Just let it load, it shouldn't take too long. Okay, and we're already in. So on the right side, we have a shop. Uh, for this, you just click whatever you want, and then you'll have the item names. So if we click on design, we could buy whatever, Bestision design, 100,000 radium, that's, this is the quantity, so that's one, if we go to ammunition for example, select this, 10 credits, we can enter um, whatever number, and hit buy, do you really want to buy blah 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 of blah blah for blah blah credits? Okay, so yes or no, we actually don't want to buy it. Over here in the middle, we have a Tech Factory. So you just select the Tech, and then you can produce buy now or produce instantly. Uh, it will show you here when it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Backup Shield, we're just going to produce. It will load. and done. For auction, uh, you have all the different items in the auction. Just select one and then this plus, you can see who's the highest bidder. Right here you enter the amount and then you hit bid. So to test it, I actually don't need an L4 right now. I'm just gonna bid on something um, Um, something that no one has bid it on yet. Okay, sure, whatever. I don't need it, but I'll just bid on it. Let's say like three hundred thousand. Uh, yeah, I have enough. So I'll load. Once it's done, you just click the item, and I'm the highest bidder. So this is my username right now. Um, going down, we have a transport module. So you select the ore. Let's go with Suprome. We enter the mount, which is 2,000. Then we can send instantly, which will cost us 1,250 iridium, or just send for free. Okay, going further down, we have the user information, we have the ID, we have the amount of credits, amount of iridium, we have our rank, we have a settings button, we have the boxy bot, which we'll come to later, and a home button. If we click on settings, a server menu will come up. Here you can select a different server. And right here we have a log on a uh, log off button. Uh, currently, it says I'm on Germany one, and here's the exit button to go back. On the right side, we have Galaxy Gates. Just select the gate; it will show here which gate you are currently on. So Zeta, then we can click one, five, ten, or hundred rounds, and then hit energy. Okay, now I'm going to go over the BoxyBot fun a function. First of all, go to home.
if it loads anytime. And you'll be immediately directed into your account. And you simply want to click start. So actually while that's loading, I'm just going to show you if you click BoxyBot it will open. First of all you want to go on F3 and here you can um, uh, tweak your settings. So first of all fly when damage I ha uh, it is on default wait a second why is there whatever uh, so default it's on 70 hit points and shield at 10 repair whatever how many times and at base portal or on the spot collect boxy bot, uh, uh bonus boxes and events uh, boxes and then you just hit save and exit and then you get back here so I don't know why the sound is actually on turn it off Also, for this, make sure, let's actually go back to settings, uh, display, and make sure that your background is off, everything else is also at low, ship you can leave high, that doesn't really make a difference. Also, your hit points must be shown as the green and blue, not as numbers. This you can position wherever you like. I'm just going to keep it here. And yeah, my frames are a bit low right now because I have like the wrong recording settings, but I was too lazy to change them. So F1 is to start and pause. F2 is to stop. So if we press F1, it's just going to start. Just going to quickly let this run a bit to show you that it actually works. Oh, yep, there there's an enemy that did not work well screw that oh yeah well um, I kinda bummed that one no, I'm not gonna use anything screw it so that was a fail um, I'll just quickly do it here Oh, but it's really laggy. But yeah, you get the point. So if you uh, have that, you press F2. Uh, I mean, F1, and it will start. And you just let it run. So this is not like a background BoxyBot collector, like uh, the current version of Open Stealth or uh, the real BoxyBot. So this one you have to leave your screen open because it uh, it uses image search and therefore also you cannot be detected. So my program is safe to use for all those people who uh, are kind of skeptic about using uh, tools or bots in general. Mm, and this one is uh, safe. So um, hope this helped you comment, uh, rate, subscribe. If you have any questions, um, actually just write me a message on Facebook. That's probably the easiest. I don't always check my YouTube. So yeah, enjoy API Bot.